Making an RPG requires dealing with a lot of data. You need to add quests, spells, objects, NPCs and so on. There are many ways to do this, but there are also some considerations. Who will add quests? Who will create spells and balance them? Who will create NPCs and spawn points? To make this process easy, we need a tool that abstracts all these complexities, including programming, and just provide a simple, understandable interface with which we can change this data and iterate on it. This is critical because it enables non-developers to add content to the game, but it also makes testing easier even for developers. On my project, I created tools for different purposes. I will show you the quest editor, the spells editor, NPC editor, animation testing tool, and finally, the server stress testing tool. Kicking it off, let's start with the spell editor. I wanted a way to add simple spells to test basic combat mechanics. This included both with projectiles and without, like simple buffs. Initially, I added fields for name, description, icon, projectile, prefab, and then a few more spell-related variables, like cast time and effects. Even though it was very basic, it already had enough flexibility to create a good variety of spells. For example, you can see how easily I created a couple of spells, a healing spell and a fireball. This is a healing spell, and I just add a simple healing effect. The other one is a fireball, and so I add a projectile prefab and a damage effect. Without knowing anything about programming, I could very quickly add two spells. This is good for quickly previewing and iterating spells, and the result editor is very satisfying to work with. The quest editor. Following the same principle and goal, I created the quest editor. This is a little more complex because it has to deal with objectives and needs to be attached to NPCs. But for the most part, it's again just a few fields that require a few clicks and some typing, and it lets the focus stay on the creative part and minimizes the effort of adding the quest itself to the system and iterate on it. Having just a few objective and requirement options allows for a good variety of quest creation, and this was later on enriched with NPC scripting, which allowed to create more interactive quests and improve the storytelling. The NPC Editor I also needed a way to define NPCs, like name, level, combat settings, faction, and so I created the NPC Editor. It's possibly the simplest of them, but nevertheless, it is essential, and helps to quickly make an NPC and add to the game. You set a name, a race, a faction, level and some combat data, like swing timer, damage, spells and so on, and you can add this NPC to the game and add quests to it. The Animation Testing Tool When I was adding animations, initially I was just test them out in the game. Over time though, it felt that it didn't give me a clean view of them, or even to compare. So the idea was to make it easier to preview the animation with character models in different types of roles like a caster, dual wild, one-handed weapon and a shield, for example. So I made a scene with each of these character roles, and initially uh, each one of them even had a specific animation sheet where I could drag and drop animations to. This allowed me to just go to Mixamo, get some animations, add them, try them, and see if they were appropriate. And I could see all of them play at the same time, so that was a really nice thing to compare the animations, how it felt and if they felt cohesive. And since we're at it, have some fun along the way. The server stress testing tool. This one is more recent and it came as I felt it was the right time to start taking a deeper look 
at the data being passed back and forth between the server and the client. To make sure the amount of data in crowded areas, including those with NPCs, is sustainable, I created a stress testing tool. What this tool does is to log in with different characters, and at this point it just runs around with them in the same area, but even though it might not feel like much, it gave a crucial insight into the data being passed around, and now I could start lowering the amount of packets and data being passed, and have a way to measure it and compare the effectiveness. This also led to improvements in NPC movements, specifically related to predefined actions and patrols, and over time I want to add the ability to test more behaviors like uh, having users log in and log out, test teleporting to different servers, combat, questing, and to be able to do uh, this on a large scale and measure the impact on the servers from a resource point of view, like CPU and RAM, but also from a logic and game functioning point of view. So, as you can see, all these tools are a very important pillar in the development. They save time, effort, and empower those who use it. It lets the focus stay on the task itself, rather than with its underlying programming complexities. What about you? Do you think tools like these help game development? Let me know your thoughts on tooling in the comments below. Subscribe if you like this kind of content, and share to who you think might be interested. See you in the next video! Rise, rise, rise!